I work in Avatar The Way of Water for over two years as effects supervisor. And this video is about how I got here, how I managed to get into this production. This is going to be a story of perseverance and passion and something that it can relate to you if you are struggling to get into any professional area that you are passionate about or you want to get your creative work out there. The first thing that definitely helped me to get here is that I found my excitement and my passion. I've always been passionate about the visual arts. In fact, I studied fine arts in Spain and in Germany, and I was focusing on oil painting. My paintings were all about tornadoes, waves, sources of nature, clouds distorted by the wind, but also abstract things like visualizing sounds, things that I have always found really fascinating. Once I finished my art studies in Germany around 2005, movies like Harry Potter were all around. And I was fascinated by these effects, magic spells, tornadoes of clouds, volumetric movements, and what computers were able to do. And I thought how cool it would be to be able to learn these skills and produce computer-generated imaginary, which could help me to generate digital landscapes, animated pictures. How cool it would be imagining a future that excites you there is something magic about this. It starts to open the doors to a future of multiverse possibilities that didn't exist before. Excitement is the door to new possibilities. Without excitement, nothing new can happen. It's a spark that we can always ignite because it's within us from childhood. And that excitement drove me to start researching how to learn all these computer techniques. It was definitely an overwhelming list of things to learn and this can easily discourage but I kept excitement and I had the dream that one day I would work on movies like this, that it would be perfect combining a job that allows me to gain the digital skills I needed for my art and allows me to earn money and sustain myself at the same time. We all have free time, even if we have an exhausting job. And we might be wasting this free time with social media, video games, streaming, which are good things but not all the time. In my case, I used every single minute I could find to learn and practice. For example, learning how to make a tornado field that drives both particles and volumetrics and practice it on my own. Repeat, remembering the excitement, practice on my own, repeat. Whatever you practice on your own, you definitely learn. So if you're passionate about something, use your free time wisely. When I was sharing my excitement with friends about my plans, one of them told me, what a waste of time. By the time you learn what professionals can do in movies, they will have already catch up with the new software development and you will always be behind. That person today must be seeing how wrong he was. There is no justification for people to say this to you. They're just limited. And for those people, the doors are closed and they will be stuck because they don't believe in themselves. They don't believe in the power we have in ourselves to go beyond the limits. And the problem is they try to others to be in the same spot so they can feel good about their limits. So don't listen. And sometimes voices like that one can pop up in your head. So don't listen to them neither. Just get excited about the possibilities. Start as soon as you can. Be persistent and anything is possible. I was getting some results and in fact, I started doing art exhibitions with the new techniques I was learning. I will put the links below to the Vimeo videos if you are interested. One of the compilations of all my small projects in what is called a demo reel, something that visual effects companies use to measure the skills and talent of a potential employee. And I made a list of all the visual effects companies in the world. And I sent this demo to all of them. I didn't care about rejection. The truth is you will not be able to be liked by everyone. And you need to accept this fact. This will help you a lot to cope with the rejection. But I assure you, there is a fundamental truth. You will resonate with someone. Even if you think you are not good enough, there will always be an audience, someone that needs what you are doing, someone that will resonate with your wavelength and will get what you are saying and also will get excited by your excitement. So don't be afraid to show your work. You never know the doors that can open. So out of 200 emails, 15 responded. Out of these 15, two interviews and one of them hired me. It was a small company in Spain called Digra who was working in an animation movie called Holy Night. It was the beginning of an exciting new journey and all the dedication and excitement paid off and I managed to make the jump.
If you are starting a new career path, there is a lot to learn. Things that are specific to the company you are starting. In my experience, you have the advantage to be a beginner. And everyone knows this. And so they will be patient with you and they will help you if you ask. So don't be afraid to ask questions. Questions that are generally created after you have done everything you could to understand are always very welcome and can show the person you're asking that you are committed. So you will find people who love to be asked and some others that won't be very helpful, but it doesn't matter. As long as you are trying your best to understand and absorb all the information you can, you will be in the right track. In that company, Digra, I definitely learned a lot, especially how a real production works. And even if it was a small company, this was an invaluable lesson that would definitely help me later on. When this company went bankrupt, I found myself in the same position. So I had to apply again, but I had a new weapon. I had experience working in production and I gained skills. And with that, I created a new demo reel and I've repeated the same process that helped me on the first place. Out of that second attack, <laughs> a surprising thing happened. The Harry Potter video game was looking for an artist that helped to achieve a more cinematic look in their cutscenes. Electronic Arts it was the company and they interviewed me because they liked the content of my reel. It was authentic, it was coming from the things that passionate me and not from things I wanted to copy from someone else. And somehow that helped me to get the job. During the interview, they asked me, do you like video games? And I said, not really, which was the truth. And actually by telling the truth, I got the job because they were not looking for a video game nerd. They were looking for someone with a fresh look and with some experience in production. So they hired me and I worked there for two years and it was a great experience. And again, I learned so much. After the video game company, one of the supervisors of that company went to Double Negative as a co-head of FX. Double Negative is another of the most important visual effects companies in the world, which is in London. And because he knew me well and I did a good job in the Harry Potter video game, the entry into this company was easy. So I got finally into one of the leading companies in the world in movie production. The beginning was hard, but I managed to work in projects like John Carter, Man of Steel, Mission Impossible, Jupiter Ascending, Thor, The Dark World, and many others. But there was one constant, that I was the one who was solving problems. If you are the problem solver, it says a lot about you, that you don't break under problems, that you find solutions, that you don't complain all the time, that you are persistent and skilled to solve the issues that no one else can see or that no one else want to see, and that you are willing to help for the sake of others. And because they saw this ability in me, they offered me a course in Houdini from SideFX, is a software in Escape Studios in London. Houdini was one of the programs that was starting to dominate the industry of the visual effects in 2008. I don't know why I was given this opportunity, but I embraced it fully and I learned so much that with time I became an expert in Houdini and that led me to many opportunities of promotion and growth. Even the beginning was quite slow and hard journey was natural. One success led to the other. And as usually I say, the curve of exponential growth was starting to show up. Finally, because of all my experience and Houdini expertise, I could apply for Weta FX. They were exactly looking for Houdini experts. They needed five years of experience in production, which I had. And it was my dream to go to New Zealand and work in this company for years. There I was applying the same principles that led me to success in the past. Learn as much as I could, company intrinsics, become an expert in your field, identify issues and be able to fix them, be helpful and respectful with others, and all that made me naturally apply for leadership positions. And finally, I was given the opportunity to transition into effects supervisor in Avatar The Way of Water in 2020. It's a complete different role, this effects supervisor. So the skills matter, but also the communication skills, the patience, wide angle view and cold thinking, all these things matter much more. And I said yes to the role, knowing that I would learn in the job. And that's exactly what happened. I learned in the job and in general become the person who drives the project forward with a positive mood and respect to every member of the team. Working in Avatar The Way of Water has been the highlight of my career. And as hard as it was, it's been an honor to be part of such a movie. 
and I hope this story was useful to you and I would love to answer any of the comments and questions that you might have. This video is part of this channel success stories series, the stories that are not meant for me to brag but to inspire you and show you concepts and principles that I discovered along the way that helped me succeed in different areas so you can apply them in your own success journey. If you want to have success, I recommend you this video that talks about self-discipline. By the way, if you are liking the content of this video, please subscribe and press like. It will help me a lot and I will be releasing content every week. See you in the next video.